Hi everyone, I'm Joyce the Dentist, and today I want to talk to you about understanding tooth decay and cavities. Now what a lot of people don't realize is that tooth decay, or what we call cavities, is actually a type of bacterial infection. Unfortunately, we can't treat cavities with an antibiotic like we would with another type of infection. Once this infection gets into your tooth, we have to go in and physically remove the decay and fill that space in to prevent it from spreading. All of us have natural bacteria already in our mouths, but when we eat, those bacteria eat Two, they process food particles, sugars, and carbohydrates, and eventually secrete or poop out this acidic byproduct onto our teeth. You and I know that byproduct as sticky dental plaque. Now, plaque itself is really acidic, so if it sits on your teeth for too long, it starts to etch and eat away at your tooth enamel. The reason this is a really big deal is because tooth enamel is the hardest substance in the entire human body. Thankfully, you can prevent cavities from forming by removing that plaque on a regular basis. That means brushing all of your teeth surfaces at least twice a day and flossing to get between your teeth where the toothbrush doesn't reach. If we aren't cleaning our teeth good enough or the plaque is sitting on there for too long, these little white areas start to form. These spots are what we call demineralization, and they're the first phase of tooth decay. Now there's still some good news. Once white spots start to form on your teeth, you can still stop the cavity from forming and reverse the tooth decay process. Usually that requires a totally revamped oral hygiene routine and the use of some topical fluoride like in your toothpaste, a mouth rinse, or a prescription from your dentist. With the proper oral hygiene measures, the white spots will stay there like little scars on your teeth, but they don't evolve into that next stage of tooth decay. Unfortunately, if you don't reverse the cavity process at this very early stage, the bacteria will continue eating away at your enamel until a physical hole or cavity forms in that space. And once you have a hole in your tooth, there is absolutely no way to reverse it or grow your tooth enamel back. You may have heard of people doing things like oil pulling or something like that, but it is physically impossible to regrow those tooth cells once they're gone. The tricky thing is at these very early stages, you may not even see a cavity. The only way to know if there is a cavity is to have your dentist check with tools like an explorer or to have an x-ray of the tooth taken to measure its density. On your x-ray, the cavity will look like little shaded or dark shadowy areas where there aren't supposed to be. And if you see a hole or cavity in your tooth, you're usually talking about late or advanced stage tooth decay. At that point, the cavity may be all the way into the nerve or pulp chamber in the middle of your tooth. And unfortunately, when that happens, the nerve of the tooth is in the process of dying or abscessing and will require a root canal to save it. When you schedule regular checkups with your dentist every six months, they can screen for cavities while they're small or still reversible. And if you do have a cavity that cannot reverse, your dentist can treat it while it's still very small. Keeping it small is to your advantage because smaller fillings mean that more tooth structure is saved and a cheaper dental bill when everything is said and done. So because it's hard to tell if you have a cavity in those early stages, you won't actually see the cavity on your tooth before the dentist does. But you might experience hit or miss symptoms such as a weird feeling around your tooth, sensitivity to sweet foods or drinks, or floss getting caught on a rough spot. You may even feel a sharp edge with your tongue. Keep in mind that depending on where the cavity is located and how deep it is, you might not feel anything at all. Going to the dentist on a frequent basis gives your oral health professionals the chance to intercept cavities while they're tiny. That way, they can clean them out and fill them before you even know there's a problem. Now, at this point, I need to discuss the obvious. What if you feel like there's nothing wrong with your tooth at all? If your dentist recommends a filling and you don't think you need one, the best thing to do is to go and get a second opinion. Sometimes these areas of demineralization are small enough to watch, but it might be at the discretion of the dentist. So if you get a second or third opinion and all the dentists say, that you have a cavity, then you most definitely need to do something about it, whether it hurts or not. When you do get a filling, you save yourself the time and extra money of getting a crown or root canal later on down the road. Not to mention that you're preventing the decay from spreading to other areas of your mouth. Don't delay your filling or your next dental checkup. If you haven't seen the dentist in the past six months, now is the day to change that. If you found this helpful, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.